what is going on guys it's your boy icy josh back at it again with some more videos and today we're going to be talking about two things we're going to be talking about that broly campaign uh that jp's literally got out there and pretty much tell him when it's going to start also the first thing we're going to talk about is pretty much the uh battlefield goku and majin vegeta right here super saiyan 2 goku super and majin vegeta uh i'm not gonna lie their renders for their tur versions is gonna be good i'm not gonna lie that, that that is really good looking right there they don't have anything for them right now on um on jp uh well on dbz space or anything so they're not you can't see their passes or anything like that right now i can't read obviously japan japanese japan i can't read japan's dumbass i was about to say japan's that's an l but i can't read japanese so i don't necessarily know all i see is the defense right here still for goku and then attack still for vegeta but what I can say is that Goku, Goku and Vegeta are pretty much like the same unit, except their passives are, are kind of flopped and then their super attack is kind of flopped as well too. Both of them pretty much, Goku is supreme class, Vegeta is the ex extreme class, plus two key HP attack and defense 70%. I think with their Doken Awakens, they may go to 90% or something like that, which would be kind of, which would be pretty decent. It'd be, it'd be viable. It's close to LR, but it'd be viable. The only thing about this is, I know that they're TUR right now. Um, I don't know if they're going to keep them guys in there and then maybe they LR at some point in time uh, through. That would be kind of damn amazing to have both of them LR uh, through here. That that would be very good. Like 100%, that, that would be dope as hell. But you'd have probably only be able to LR one of them unless they were like kind of lowered on the medals needed. But again... It'd be really nice to have that. But Goku is greatly raises defense. Vegeta is greatly raises attack. For one turn, it causes supreme damage. It'd be nice to maybe get immense damage after this or something like that. Uh, the passive for Goku is defense 30% with each attack performed up to 90%. And I think Vegeta's is the attack. Um, I think, I think no, his is a t defense, but it goes up to um, 120. And then Goku's is attack with each uh, attack received is up to 120. And then I think uh, that is defense is, 100, is, is a 90% for Vegeta if I'm not mistaken yeah Vegeta's is defense plus 30% when attacking up to 120% and then the attack is 30% for each attack received at 90% so again they're like okay they're, they're pretty solid units right there so I'm not what the hell did you just say necessarily hating on them at all but this right here so this is pretty much the main thing that we're going to be talking about which is the Dragon Ball uh, Super Broly movie uh, they do have something right there that you go through and you can click on. It'll take you to a little website and everything. And it's kind of pretty much promoting the movie and everything. Now, I'm going to go over here and switch this really quick. There we go. So, for this Christmas uh, celebration. Now, I think it may be a little bit different, obviously, from... Uh, J well, it could kind of be different. I don't know if JP could... I don't know if JP ever had a, a ticket, a step-up ticket banner or anything like that. So I don't necessarily know. It could be two different things or it could be kind of like the same thing. But again, it is Christmas. And last time we had Ultra Instinct Goku, which was a Christmas ticket celebration and, and stuff with him. So this was what it was. I think last time it was like step one was uh, five Dragon Stones for one character. You get you some candy canes and also you get one ticket. Step two was um, 15 Dragon Stones, three characters, one Master Roshi Santa, which was an Elder Kai. And then a ticket as well. And then step three was 30 Dragon Stones, seven characters, and then three tickets as well. And then you just repeated that three times. So in total, I think that is 150 Dragon. Yeah, it's 150 Dragon Stones uh, to repeat step one through three three times. And then step four is your 50 Dragon Stones with 10 characters, a, ran a random amount of tickets as well. And I think after that, it just goes through step four. Uh, over and over and over and over and over so it just goes back to being uh, the regular multis if I'm not mistaken the only thing about this is is there's no um, there's no real tickets well there's there's tickets but there's no like GSSRs through any of those steps except for step four when you get through so you're pretty much taking a gamble right there but again the, the stone sale right there and everything it's gonna be it's gonna help you out a lot more but if you wanted to do this one, you just need 200 Dragon Stones to pretty much get you all the way through those and then do the uh, step four on this one, which again, is not bad because if I'm not mistaken, uh, there was the, the tickets were GSSR. So I think for the summons for the single, yeah, right here, it was for the singles. Uh, every five single summons that you did, you get one uh, guaranteed SSR. 
uh, through it. So that was actually nice. But if you did, but the one underneath it was multis. And if you did one multi, you got, um, you pretty much just got the GSSR in, in, in the, in the multi with five drag with the five tickets. So again, that's not necessarily bad at all. It's pretty much the same thing. Just even on the same thing. You should want to waste the tickets quicker or not. It's, it's pretty much what it was. But the other one that I was looking at right here, uh, this now, this isn't bad either, uh, because I, I don't know if I necessarily will prefer this one or not because do like the tickets. Now they could somehow implement tickets in this one as well with step five through step seven, if they wanted to and still be performing multis. But right now, if you're looking at this one, uh, this would be 280 dragon stones to get you all the way through all these steps. And again, this is literally all multi GSSR multis. So I personally like to see the other gotcha games, how they implement, like after you get a certain step, um, like through step four, which would be the free one and step eight is a free one. I think that uh, step five and step six uh, should possibly have an increase. I think actually step five through step seven, I think should either have increased uh, rates for actual banner featured units and then maybe like step eight if they did it this way step eight was actually the guaranteed card that you're going to get like you're guaranteed to get that card because i mean you spend 280 dragon stones to get through this one that's what you would be wanting you want to be doing this again so and i think that that would be like the best bet to do this and also this was one once only uh super multis so after this one i guess it just went back to doing the regular multi stuff then after that, I feel like they could possibly do the tickets after that. So they could have this one be that one, the what it is right now, and then have uh, five through seven be, uh, I guess the rate ups uh, for featured units, uh, increased rates for featured units. Step eight is guaranteed to get you what you want. And then after that, they could probably go from step four or step five uh, through six through seven and they all have uh tickets on it and then that way you can use tickets as well and it'd be both for both uh characters well not both characters technically but yeah technically yes but both banners because it's going to be a dual fest banner so that would probably be um 560 dragon stones that you would need to get through this whole thing and do the other one as well too so i think that that would possibly be pretty fair in my opinion because they need to kind of go away from this whole um, bs with the summons again because a lot of other gotcha games are, are literally out here given like gssr like once you make it to that step you're guaranteed to get that unit i don't i don't know why Dokken battle is is the only one really that's not doing that because it's, it's kind of kind of ridiculous a little bit it makes it makes you feel like it, it, it's some, for some reason it makes it look like the douchebags like they feel like they're like they don't need to do it because everyone's just gonna blow their money anyway because they're pretty much like what the number one gotcha game uh so they're just like whatever it's funny because they don't even have the best rating um on on google play and stuff like there's other gotcha games that have a better rating than them but you would think that for this one for maybe christmas maybe they'll start implementing that one that'd be a very big uh that'd be a very big turn on for everyone but those are the two that I possibly think could possibly actually 100% happen. This one is like, I, I honestly kind of want to say that this is probably what's going to happen because I don't think with, uh, with what's going to be coming up for the Broly celebration, I don't think that they're going to want to do that. I, unless it's only, unless this one is for JP and then global is probably going to get this, which I actually like this more than i like the other one because even with the other one having tickets and stuff like that these are all multi summons that's that's eight multi summons and you probably have a better chance to get what you what you want to get especially if you can get all the way through so and at this point in time with all the free uh dragon stones and everything's been given out and plus we still got more to come yeah I, I would i would assume that people just about everyone probably if you haven't been spending your stones would probably be able to get through this one 100 and even with just 200 right here you'd be able to get through this one which again i don't prefer this one i actually like the other one but i do like the tickets because they are gssr so that's still not bad at all now this one i don't even i think this one's the uh oh yeah this one is a a, a different one as well too this one for the dual fest as well uh i forgot all about this one i wasn't even thinking about this uh, there was, I want to say it was, 
yeah yeah this right here that one wasn't that bad at all either because it was step one 25 uh step two is 30 you also get a ticket as well um with it and then these i think these are all multis if i'm not mistaken yeah yeah but you get three tickets for step three uh step four is free obviously step five step six step seven is pretty much uh, 50 so that's 150 right there so uh, 100 so that's 200 230 uh 225 two, no 255 dragon stones got you through all that uh, and they're all multis yo that's not that's not bad at all matter, matter of fact i may prefer that one from the 200 from the 280 i think i prefer that one yeah this one this one's nice um start back at step five i think that's what yeah okay so i stopped started back at step five you received a free multi after uh, every three multis yeah i like i like that better because for everyone that's over they can they can do this actually so there's three ones that they could have i actually prefer the last one now that i'm looking at it but you guys can let me know in the comment section below what you guys feel because again we all know there's going to be a regular ticket uh banner that's going to be for the christmas celebration probably from login maybe doing some missions you get a couple tickets from that every day as well so we already know about that stuff but again there could be some easy a things to probably be going on obviously there's gonna be more drag stones with logins and everything as well but yeah you guys can let me know what you guys feel about this one have an awesome day guys and i'm out peace